Hello everyone! Welcome back to another season of Eat the Race, this time we're on Astra Season Week 186. I'm DTM as always, and yeah, so far we're starting off really well on defense. It is win season, so that does mean we have Legendary Lucina available for us, and I do have both Plumeria and Mirabilis, so hopefully we can reach amazing tier of lift. But yeah, let's go over the teams. Um, thankfully, again, Plumeria is... Um, the bonus so I don't have to like lug around an Anna for example. So we have our standard quadruple mythic fallen Aelgard supported by Lucina here. Um, we have our first Gale Force team which is Linja Force supported by like Aelgard and Marianne as always. And yeah this one is our meme team that hopefully will make Aelgard double with Lucina's auto double support alongside with Bolt Fighter to get over Twin Crest Powers where fighter effect. And yeah hopefully Aelgard will be good here. Um, we have our standard 5 teams, and yeah, we have a very uh, different Thor Force team, where Thor's going in. Uh, it is water season, so I do have Azura here, but honestly, she could re be replaced with like another Gale Forcer or any other dancer. But might as, might as well use Azura while I have her. And yeah, before we begin, uh, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers, only takes 5 seconds to subscribe, but it truly does mean a lot, and I'm very grateful for everyone's constant support. Thank you all so much. And yeah, you will be our next opponent. Our first opponent, I mean, and... Okay. Interesting. Ouch pouch. Uh, I don't really see that often. Um... Okay, so this might actually... Be a bit of trouble because um, this catapult is taking out our bolt tower. But honestly, not really. Although, Ilgar does have no follow up, so she might actually be very strong against um against uh against us. But I think if we Linja Force this, we should be fine. Um. I guess plus 10. With Kanto control? I respect that, actually. But yeah, I'm going to Linja Force this. Seems like the appropriate thing to do. Yeah, again, we are a bit, um... What's the word? Whoops. I didn't want to do that. We are... It is a bit awkward since, like, um... Ooh. We also have the... Okay, we... Uh, we need you to be here. In that case. Yeah. What am I trying to say? It is a bit awkward since we don't have the ball tower, but we should still be able to do this relatively well. Hmm. How much attack are we getting here? Sixty-one. I think we should be able to quadruple that just fine. As long as, um... Also, uh... Close your eyes. Hmm. Out of my way. I seek a foe. No, uh, turn one initiation. They will submit. At your command. Oh, I'll do it. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, we do know that, um... We don't get that. Oh wow, that didn't that didn't do as much as I would like. <laughs> hmm. I mean, we can pivot, but I think it's worth going. Not so loud. We don't double seriously. Oh, we're we're debuffed too. I see. Oh, uh, no. yeah. Okay. This way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we are. Uh, we have the actions. This should be safe. We only need to take out four units anyways, so, yeah. And we have dual hindrance. And yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Take out Ilgar. Because we can. Uh, 
Uh, how much speed do you have? Oh yeah. There's no shot. And no guard effects, so this should be fine. We should get the dance off here. Um... Okay, I guess we can take out E tree. Like so. I don't think so. Honestly, can we do this without Fallen Edel Guard? We might be able to. Nice Kanto control, by the way. <laughs> what? Eh. I mean I don't see why might as well do this, right? And yeah, okay, that was, that was a pretty simple uh, Gale Force. <laughs> Not too complicated, but honestly, I respect the plus 10 Ike. I really do. Close your eyes. And yeah, so much for that one movement. Yes, by your will. And yeah, uh, Edelgard did nothing. What a useless unit. Uh, yeah, we can take out Faye here, here, and we can take out Peony, so let's take out Peony with Reagan. I see. Take out this fountain, and yeah, that should be GG's. Good games. Very nice. Obviously not the most um, hard map, but still, uh, a very nice blend of force clear, especially considering we did not use Fallen Aelgar at all. <laughs> GG's you, on to the next one. Alright, match number two. Let's see who our second opponent shall be. We are going to indeed push this season, and Brooks is our next opponent, okay. Okay. Huh. Okay, this is very interesting because... Hmm... Does Edelgard beat that? I don't think so. Hmm... Uh huh. I I don't think we can linger force this, especially with guard bearing. Hmm. And the daunt effect, right? Yeah, I yeah we definitely don't. Um. I mean, maybe with the moonbow. No, I, I actually don't. I, I actually don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, this is really tricky. I think the only way we can properly do this is if, like... Oh no, Ashnard is, like, so bulky. This is a plus 10 Ashnard, right? Yeah. And also we have Vantage Chrom, which is super annoying. Hmm. We will definitely need Marianne for this. Yeah, 15 damage. Um, we, we will be able to proc Moonbow, thankfully. How much attack do we have on Linja? Uh, she currently has 58. Um, Sixty-one. And we can increase that to 67.
Okay, 67 versus, um... 63. 67. Okay, this is literally impossible. <laughs> I mean, we do double, though, so... Unless there's, like, uh... No double effect? We should be able to proc Moonbow twice. Okay, I'm going to Linja Force it. I think we can do it. Utterly shameless. Um, we do need to make sure we have the attack tactics, though. Actually, no, I keep forgetting we don't get attack tactics. I mean, thankfully, there shouldn't be a turn one. So we should be fine here. Hopefully. What? At your command. Oh. Yeah, might as well just do this. Um, again, no turn one, hopefully. This shouldn't extend the range. Alright. And let's just do like a little That's so loud. Okay, that is at least 15 damage. So we should be fine, hopefully. At your command. Very nice. Fay math at its peak. <laughs> Cool. Close your eyes. This way? Yeah, we can't take out Krom here, but we can't. Um hmm. I mean I I, I think theoretically we can. Hmm. I mean it just depends on whether or not we're able to take off Mirabellus. Hmm. Wait, we can sweep this. We don't need to worry about trapping. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it the safe way. Then. Oh wow, we actually don't take that out. Uh... Actually, hold on. Over do we? There? No, we do. Oh, uh, because of the dead eye that's pre-charged. I see. Hmm. I mean, we can take out Saros. That's relatively easy. I'll return soon. Uh. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Might as well. <gasps> I'll say I probably could have taken out Mirabellus with Marianne, but that was my own fault. For not trusting. What? And yeah, let's bring in um, Edelgard now. Again, we already collected all the pots, so we can sweep this. Yes. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Huh. Uh, I guess there was some guard effects there. Hmm. At your command. Out of my way. Okay, I think I got I think I got it. I think I got this. I have to do this. There's just no way I can't. And thankfully, Lin is able to take Except out uh, Valentine's Crom, so that's good. Oh wait, I have the dual skill. Never mind, we're totally fine. <laughs> I forgot I could do that now that dual Crom is activated. 
And yeah, all right, GG's, good game. A more tricky Ninja Force clear than the last one, but still, we were able to do that with the help of our 50 damage bolt trap. Yeah, it's kind of getting excessive, but I won't complain. GG's, Brooks. And yeah, on to the next one. Alright, match number three. Let's see who our next opponent shall be. Um, ooh, Japanese Mirabilis user will be our next opponent, and okay. <laughs> we have a uh, Fallen Edo Guard um, in the corner. And a catapult that does not affect us. Hmm. What teams do I have? Yeah, I think this team is probably for the best. Since Marianne can definitely, like, with the damage reduction Marianne has, she can, like, survive Edelgard. At least one shot, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we'll just, um... I guess do this that way. This would have been such a good Fallen Edelgard. Actually... Yeah, I, I'll 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 winter force this. Show me your strength. At your command. Yeah, let's do this. This way. Over there. Yes, I seek a foe. Yeah. Also, yeah, the catapult is not a uh, fully um online, I guess. Is the correct word to use for that? And yeah, we need Marianne to be as alive as much as possible. Not sure where she's getting the debuff from. Hello? I'll return soon. Why are you getting debuffed by defense? I mean I guess it's a sabotage defense. That's why. Your will. Over there? Over here? Yeah. Also, that electric trap, bolt trap, was real. Not that it really matters, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and yeah, obviously, like, the bolt tower doing 50 damage just makes this really um, straightforward to deal with. Only Mirabilis is merged, but like Close at a plus eyes. one. At your command. Lin, you're a wonder. This is it. Yes, what she said. Yeah, that negating thing uh, did nothing. <laughs> Yeah, let's bring in, um, Edelgard in first, before we start Smashy Smashy. I'll return soon. Yeah, we can clearly take out Mirabilis with Marianne. This will, uh, dance up, uh, Linja, but honestly, we don't really need yes. Linja at this point, right? We are so clear. Edelgard is also at max HP what? still, so that's obviously really good for yeah. when we need to take down, um... This way? They will submit. And also we also have what Thor, is? I completely forgot about that too. I see. Yeah, we can definitely get the... First shift? We just need to make sure I that everyone is in the proper place. Over there? At your command. By your will. Out of my way. Alright. Here we go. Shh. 
Alright, let's do this. I seek a foe. Yes. Yeah, we should be able to uh I mean we only heal seven damage here, so. Alright, let's do this. Thank you, damage reduction. Face your mortality. Out of my way. Hmm. They will submit. Over here? Oh, I'll do it. Over there? We still survive like this, so. That brings us to 41. Hmm. I'll return soon. Yeah. What? I see. I think this is the right move. Perish. I think we missed this by like one. I seek a foe. Yeah. Yes. Thankfully, we do have one action from here. Face your mortality. Out of my way. Oh wow, we actually survived that. Why not? Over there. And now Thor they should be able to take submit. it down. Yep. All right, cool. GGs. Yeah, this is why corner Fallen Edelgard is not good. Like, look at what I was able to like maneuver around Fallen Edelgard with her having restricted movement, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't corner your Fallen Edelgards, folks. But GGs, uh, Japanese Mirabella's player. On to the next one. All right, match number four. Let's see who our next opponent shall be. Uh, Dio will be our next opponent, trademarked too. And okay, plus ten. Pl is this all plus ten? No, it's not. Well, the good news about this is, um. Even though there is a dancer trap here, because of this tree, we're basically fine. Like, actually. <laughs> Azura will go here. Right? The only thing we need to worry about is what happens on turn two. Which is honestly why I'm sort of considering whether or not we should just go on turn one. That might be an option. Because like, none of these units have particularly high defenses. Uh, what's our Linja team like? I mean, the only hard part about that would be Saros. And probably Katria too, actually, now that I think about it. I forgot how Kanto AI works, but I don't want Azura to like move move forward when doing Kanto. So I think I I think I want to like just go in with Linja on turn two. I think that's what we want to do. One, two, three, four, five. So we just need this spot to be clear, which we can easily do. And otherwise, like, we're totally fine. <laughs> Yeah, I probably want, um, Thor here. 
Just so we can provide the attack buff yes. for Edelgard, who will probably be the one that will take out Saros. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Out of my way. Yeah, we should be it fine, is. like so. At your command. Uh, probably don't want to take that out, actually. Oh, I'll do it. I'll return soon. Just keep that there. At your command. And yeah, we definitely take out Lysithia. Or Azura. Who has the lowest res? Over there. I see. Um, I think we meet that speed check. Maybe? I'll return soon. Maybe not. Shh, Let's take out Lysithia. <laughs> Enough stalling. Prepare yourself. Why not? This way? Wow, we almost get Saros like so. I mean, we can also go in and take out Katria. Honestly, I think that's probably the safer option. Maybe not. Hmm. I don't think we get that. That's a really highly merged. Yeah, I think I think we go um basic here. This is it. Yes. What she said. We do have backups in case this doesn't work. But this should. Yeah. Very nice. This should dance up um Plumeria. I, this is why Brave Marion is so good. I would have not been able to do this with a dual peony. Close your eyes. We'll go here. This way. Sure, let's take out Catria. Go for it. Again, this entire thing is relying on us being able to take out um. Saros. What? Okay, we should be able to two-shot Saros. Now I'm most concerned about um Actually we, should, we could probably do that. Oh okay, if we actually got that double, that would have been so good. But no, let's bring in uh, Reagan just to apply the um, Savage Blow. I'm going to stop you. Very nice. I don't remember there being a Canto Control, but if there is, we just go over one. Let's go here, so that just in case we have. Oh wow, Thor actually gets the Gale Force yes. there. But no, Edelgard now, one shot, and we are guaranteed at least one action. And way. yeah, that should be GG's. Good games. Very nice. Yeah, this is why Brave Marianne here is so good. Like, Korn was the optimal uh, trap target, but obviously if I ran Dual Peony, I would have needed to, um, in order to activate her dual skill, I would need to take out Corrin 
or waste an action taking out this dual hindrance, which is not optimal. So Brave Marianne just offers so much more flexibility as though. That's why I love Brave Marianne so much, especially in these like Gale Force plays. It's just so good. Like, so good. Uh, and yeah, we obviously can shot that. Uh, turn three. Let's do this. And yeah, GG's. Good games. Oh man, that was a really nice Gale Force clear. Always love to end the video on like a plus 10 team. GG's, Dio. And yeah, that should be it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Again, I hope Brave Marianne is so good for Gale Force. You have no idea in Etherate's offense. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all the chats, show up to the channel. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. It only takes 5 seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help out this channel a lot. And I really do appreciate all the constant support. Let me know how your Etherate's runs have been going so far. And yeah, see you all next time.